the baby has gone out for a walk, finally. Um, so I get to show you some maths that I came up with while I was looking at her stacking cups. Uh, here they are. So you know how stacking cups work. Uh, you put them down. Then nine, eight, so on and so forth, seven, six. Right, so baby likes that, knock it over, brilliant. Um, but these stacking cups have got an interesting property. Um, so there's number 10, and here's number 9, and stack them that way up normally. But these ones, you can put them the other way up. And if you alternate, you can do that the whole way up. Um, so there we go, there's 5, 4, Three, two, one, and that one's on the top. Uh, and this is why I've had to wait until the baby's out of the house. Um, so that's really interesting. Whoa, the all, the, all the way up. And what do you do when you've got a sequence of uh, two options? Well, you talk about binary numbers. Um, so you could do that, except there's an important fact here. Not that one. Right. Um, if you have, oh, it's happened immediately, uh, two cups, both the same way up, then they'll fall into each other. So we have a sequence of um, numbers, let's call that one zero, and that way up, uh, open, call that a one. And you can't have two ones together, because if you put a one in a one, they collect together and you don't go anywhere. Your cups, they not stack. Um, but it turns out, that's horrible when maths people say that, isn't it? It turns out, well actually, no, what it means is if you think about things in a certain way, um, you can represent numbers using a sequence of zeros and ones with the restriction that you never have two ones together. You never have two uh, open side up cups together. Um, and what numbers do you get? Well, I've got 10 cups here. Um, and if you uh, were doing normal binary numbers, zeros and ones in any pattern, uh, 10 cups would let you count up to 1,024, or there'd be 1,024 possible options. Um, this way, where you don't have two ones together, you'd think it'd be quite hard to work out um, how to map those onto the natural numbers. but there's a really interesting and really uh, clever way of working with this constraint. Um, it's called Zeckendorf arithmetic. And uh, what you do is, uh, how can I do this? I mean, my camera works already quite shoddy, so it's gonna be really difficult. Um, okay, well, I'll explain it this way. Um, when you've got two ones together, I suppose you're writing down a string of numbers and you, you're gonna end up with two ones next to each other then you just make them both zeros and the next digit up from there you make that a one instead um, or you add one onto it if you're adding numbers together um, that pattern should remind you of uh, the Fibonacci sequence um, a plus b uh, is the uh, sorry, no. if you have uh, one element in the sequence add it onto the next one then together they are the third element in the sequence um, so if you work in base Fibonacci um, or each place in the sequence is worth a Fibonacci number um, then you can represent every number in this way with the property that no uh, two adjacent digits are both ones um, and you can construct a whole arithmetic out of it um, so let's do that. Um, I'll try and build this tower up again. No idea when the baby's coming home and down. Will Mrs. LP want me to be doing maths? Uh, I should probably have done something useful like tidying up. Uh, that's not the right one. There we go. Uh, it's getting there. Have I done it? Right, so what does this number represent? So the cups are in order. That's worth one, one, two, three, uh, five, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, 
and da, 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 da. right guess who uh, accidentally stopped the video and kept talking for five minutes uh, I just got to the bottom cut uh, that wasn't worth 55 and I also realized that I'd done things the wrong way around um, so the bottom one I've made that a one that's the right way up so that's a 55 and now I have to do alternating decreasing elements of the Fibonacci sequence in my head while recording a video don't blame me for stopping the recording last time. So 55 plus um, blah, 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 red one, 21, 76 plus 8, 84 plus 3, 87 plus 1, 88. And this last one has to be a zero that way around. Um, so I think the biggest number I can make with these 10 cups is uh, 88. That's a lot smaller than 1024, 1023, depending on where you start counting. Um, but I'm fairly sure I could make every number up to 88 in a second off representation with uh, no two ones adjacent uh, using these 10 cups. Um, that's a really interesting bit of maths. Um, this isn't even the most mathematical toy my baby has. Um, I basically go to the early learning center and buy the most symmetrical thing. Um, but who would have thought some even more fun maths hiding inside stacking cups? Excellent. Um, it's going to be quite a few years before she can appreciate this as much as I do.